All right, uh, we're about close to 10 minutes left in the boil, so I just added my uh, Whirlflock pills or tablets, I should say. Kind of look like that. Um, about to do my uh, yeast nutrient as well. I used a Y yeast uh, yeast nutrient. It's um, half a teaspoon uh, dissolved in warm water uh, per five gallon batch. So that's uh, one teaspoon full. It goes in 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put my uh, 10 minute hop addition right, as well. I almost have uh, five minutes left on, in the boil. And um, so what I did is I uh, <coughs> have my two six gallon carboys here. I've been uh, swishing around some um, some star sand. Um, I I don't I don't fill it up all the way to the top, man. Um, I tell you the truth, I just don't. I it's a one minute contact. I swish it around really well, let it sit in there. I'll even hold it upside down for a little bit and make sure all the surfaces are are touched by the star sand. And um, and that's it, man. All right, five minutes left. I just put my last top addition in. Um, this is how I cool my wort here. This is actually from uh, Yambor 44, so I cannot take any credit from this. He was uh, a pretty cool way to, to cool the water. I did this during the summertime because uh, here in Texas we had a drought, so I couldn't have the uh, the garden hose going the whole time. So I have a sub pump, and then um, <clears throat> I have that hooked up to my counterflow chiller. Um, what I did also is I got this, uh, this, t this tiny little... Uh, pre-wort chiller called the chinchilla um, it helps bring that water down from the uh, the hot water that's coming out of the um, the counterfloor chiller uh, when it comes out it, it's pretty damn hot because because of the heat exchange so uh, this kind of the uh, this pre-wort chiller chills it down before it goes back into the um, the ice water there and I just get a, a buttload of ice and it, it chills it down to about 7 degrees pretty quickly. A minute left, and uh, what I do is I, uh, I connect the out of the uh, brew pot into the, uh, to the in of the sub pump, and then the out goes into the, um, the whirlpool. So I'll whirlpool that for about 2 or 3 minutes um, as soon as I turn it off. That way, uh, all the uh, little trub and uh, hop stuff kind of gets collected in the center of the brew pot. That way, the uh, the pickup tube, which is on the side, doesn't uh, doesn't get clogged up. Flame out and uh, whirlpool commencing. So that wort right there came out, man. It was super green, and then now it's. Nice, uh, fairly clear. So I'll let that whirlpool for a little bit and see if you can kind of tell what's going on there. I have a false bottom on it, and I have a, a braided um, tube as well in there, so kind of a double. I don't know, it's overkill, but sometimes the braided tube gets clogged up as well. So I'll have it doubled up. All right, I'm still reading about 197, 98 degrees. Uh, what I did was I took the out tube of the pump and I uh, attached it to my, um, my heat exchange, my um, counterflow chiller, so I can sanitize the inside of the, the counterflow chiller, and then I hook that up to the recirculation there. So I'm going to do that for a couple minutes to sanitize the inside. All right, I probably have about uh, 30 or 45 seconds left till I start uh, draining out the uh, the wort and chilling it. So uh, <clears throat> I have a little star sand here. Uh, another gizmo contraption I have is this little um, aquarium pump hooked up to uh, an air filter, <clears throat> inline air filter. And then I have a little uh, oxygen stone as well just so we can aerate the, um, the wort. Cost me probably about 30 or 35 bucks from um, more beer. Uh, a couple of the guys online have, have some contraption like this and it beats uh, swishing around um, your carboy. And um, let me show you what it looks like here. Um, the aeration stone right there. You can get uh, the same kind of contraption with, uh, with an oxygen tank, but um, it doesn't put as much oxygen in as a as a tank would, but I would let it go for probably about 15 to 25 minutes, 
Um, it's better than swishing 